I should say, uh, first of all, in response to your observation, that on behalf of the uh, people of Lesotho, as one of them, we are eternally um, uh, thankful to the uh, succession of leadership in South Africa for coming to our aid to sober us, uh, the people of Lesotho, when we get into trouble. Uh, this is greatly appreciated. Uh, but the problem is is couched in a lot of things, including a relative um, uh, I shouldn't say backwardness, but a, a, a relative uh, low level of uh, economic uh, development, um, which is impacting on uh, stability or lack thereof. Have you transformed the security at Lasta? It has been a problem. Well, uh, if you look at the army itself, the army are almost completely uh, devoid now. They have been cleansed of interference in into in politics. Uh, uh, that is not to say the other security services uh, are not being reformed, but uh, I think the army is ahead which is a very good sign, and all that needs to do. You know, I, I was Minister of Police, and I, I don't think it's difficult to, uh, to get our police uh, uh, to be shielded away from active politics. My message toward the election is uh, a mutual accommodation, understanding, political maturity, acceptance of the outcome. The, 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 the nagging problem in Lesotho has always been lack of acceptance of the outcome when the outcome is declared. Not because in the run-up to elections in Lesotho there has ever been an upheaval like in other countries. In Lesotho, in the run-up to elections, it's like a, a carnival atmosphere. Uh, people are, are crisscrossing each other's paths without violence. But once the outcome is announced, that's when people sometimes take to the streets, and I, I'm sure they won't now. You can watch the full interview on this show uh, for this coming Wednesday at around 7.30. With that, uh, that's where I leave it for today.